So today is swamp cooler prep day. I gotta get my swamp cooler maintenance done for the summer. We're here in California, the humidity level is very like non-existent. So we use swamp coolers as an economic way to cool my house down. Well, at least I do. <laughs> Air conditioning is just a, a lot of money, and swamp coolers work really well if they're shaded and it's not over 100 degrees. <laughs> so, and then, once it gets over, like, I still will use it. I mean, because I have mine shaded really well. I'll show you. So, maybe 105, it works decently. But anything after that, um, I'll have to pop my air conditioner on, you know? And we just go swimming if we're too hot. But, here's where I have my swamp cooler. It's in my bedroom window. See, it's nice and shaded. It's perfect, and this tree really helps, so it, it works really, really, really well. Yeah, if it's in the sun, it's not gonna work. People put them on the roofs. My grandma had one on the roof. It was just stopped working. <laughs> it was just too hot. So, but you have it on the side of the house, shady area, it's perfect. So, but we're gonna change the cooler pads, and then we also have to, put a new float on because last year my float broke so we got a new float so I forget what kind of swamp cooler I have but um, and then we're gonna oil the bearings so for right now let's oil these bearings all right let me get this off I like to do it now when it's still cold because there's no mosquitoes out, no flies, nothing's gonna get trapped in here. Move it, poopy. Move it. So, move. We got, we're gonna undo. First off, let's do the bearings here. Got a little bit of dirt accumulation on there. Alright. No poopy. No. Get out of there. Mm. Alright. So... Let's go ahead, oh, um, I don't know if you can see, let's see. Put oil in there. Telescope. Put this right here. Just fill that up. There. There. Let's see. You can see it. Make sure. Good. It's good to go. Got one side done. Gotta oil the other side. Put this back on for now. You know what? While we oil the other side. Okay. While we oil the other side, I'm gonna undo this water and hose it out here. And do the bolt. There we go. Let's get the oil for the other bearing. There's two bearings. Oh 
all my ducks are laying right now. They're trying to hatch out eggs, which is good. All right. That's why normally they're right here. The duckies have a home right here, but. All right, let's take this off. Watch it. Beep, beep. Okay. So here's the other bearing right here on this side. So go ahead, if you can see, right here, and put oil in that one. A little dark, but. So you just put your, put the lid up and put the oil in there until you can see it, okay? All right, so now we got the bearings done. Let's get this, we gotta get this dirty water out of here. I like to mix it up, so, cause I unplugged the drain. Right here, there's like a drain hole. I unscrewed it and it's all coming out of here. It's all coming out of here. Just mix up this water, so. Dirt comes out in the water. It's all settled. There we go. Get that out of there. And while that's draining, let's replace the pads here. Actually, no. Let's get this on. Mine broke, the float valve broke. So we gotta put a new one on. I think that's the only thing commonly that breaks on these. Maintenance wise is float valves. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Move it, mister. I'm trying to get here. All right, so this bends. That bends. It's, it's calcium down here. sure which way is which. There we go. That way. this away you go that away anybody know where that's from peach dragon he went this away or you go this away I go that away it's my favorite movie the old peach dragon at least how do we get this out of here it's all calciumed in here oh there's another nut I forgot it's not a little nut on the back of this silly thing. He goes this away, I go that away. You go this away, I go that away. There we go. So on this, there's two nuts on the back. One for the float valve. The other for the pipe. Okay. Ah, I can't 
can't get it. All right, let me get that off here. So I got this bolt off. We got this one. Let's hold it tight while I screw this. <clears throat> exactly sure. Oh. All right, got that off. So now we just have to put the new one on. Let's do that here. Put this new one on. That one. All right, so I got it open and there is this bolt right here. Well, I already have that bolt right here. And I don't wanna take this off and risk a, I'd have to redo like um, the water seal ball inside and everything, so I'm not even gonna mess with it. So I'm just gonna reuse the same bolt. Pretty sure it's the same threads, so let's make sure. Oh. Yeah, it's the same threads. All right, so we're just gonna take this bolt off right here. That comes with it. <sighs> Trying to lose the pieces. And put this. in here and tighten it tightened. Now we got to put this one on the back and hand tighten this one on the back. All right, so because I'm reusing this, um, got stuck. So in order to unstuck it, I just grabbed, I looked for W40 and this is what I got and I put it in there and it came unloose. So that's good. If not, I just reuse this one and another insert. But so let's put it on the back and screw it on. All right, I got it on, and I have that keeping it high so I can test it. There's no leaks. There's no leaks, and this type you bend it according to the level you want. So we're gonna clean the rest of this out here and then fill it up and figure out our level. All right, I got this all cleaned up as best I could. And then we're gonna get that water on. It's a lot of mud. There we go. And then we'll hose the rest out. A lot better. Let's spray it out now. All right, let's let that drain and that should be good. All right, so we'll, let's let this water fill up. There's gonna be a little bit bits of dirt. I can't get it all out, so. And it just settles to the ground. So, we're gonna release the float here and let that fill up. And then we'll adjust the lever. But while this is filling up, Think, yeah, well, this is filling up. We're gonna um, put our pads on here. All right, so these are Aspen pads, and um, I have to change these twice a summer because we have fire seasons here, and that this acts as an air filter as well. So it gets um, whenever we have fires, I just change it out because there's soot buildup. So, um, 
But you, here, let me put this down so I can show you how to take these out here. But I think my mom and my grandma only changed theirs like once a year. And I just bend these up here and pull up. Of course, you don't break it. I broke a piece off. Oh well. Okay. It has little grab things in here to hold it in place. Alright. And just take that off. And we're going to get a new pad, which is an Ashton pad. And my size is 29 by 29. There. And so we're going to take out the old one and put the new one. You should probably do this at the end of season, but I just tend to forget about it and then wait till the next year. So it goes through the winter just sitting here. <laughs> there we go. And then throw it away. Probably go bigger, huh? Probably go bigger, but yeah, let's go long ways this way. There we go. We're gonna put it this way here. There. There, there we go. Looks like it fits better this way. Alright, and just push it in. You can also buy these to cut to size, but this is just easier. And then um, they have a, a fabric type of material, I forget what it's called. My mom used it and she, it, we found that it didn't work as good as the Aspen. The Aspen works way better and it smells good. I love the smell. All right, and then we're gonna put the grate on. Sometimes one side's easier than the other. I think we will do. I think this side's gonna be easier. Push this one in first. There. And then we'll bend this side. Go ahead and bend this one. Uh, but yeah, this side might bend this side a lot more. It's really easy peasy, and then you just put them back in. Oh, oh, missed one. Missed one. There. There we go. They're all in now. All right, and I have three of them. I'm going to do that three times.
like up in here in this part. So it goes up inside and then just drop it. That's it. Nice and clean now. Nice and clean. Now let's adjust our water. It's almost full. So I'm almost full and I do this at the beginning of every summer, like right now. And then um, it should, this is the third year I've had this, so third season. I'm trying to figure out. We want it to go just about here, I guess. It only has only a little bit more to go, let's see. A little bit more to go. Alright, so it's about where I need it to be. And we're going to adjust it now. And we just bend it down a bit. There. Just a little bit. We just bent it down a little bit. There. I think that's perfect. And it, I think if it drops just a little, yeah, perfect. It's dripping a little because <laughs> it's like, hmm, I need to fill it more. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. And then um, when I start running it, I'll check on it periodically to make sure it's good. So let's. That's it. That's it. That's how you do your annual maintenance for your swamp cooler, y'all. So <laughs> I'll just talk to you later and hit the like button and subscribe. Bye bye. Peace.